What is going on, everybody? I'm coming to Speech World Champion coming at you, and we're on Sabo yet again. Really, really enjoying this deck. It's a lot of fun. I wanted to do like a sort of a slight budget version of it, and pretty much the budget version is just like no Hiori because <laughs> uh, when I was looking at prices, I did not know Hiori was as insanely expensive of a card. It's like twenty dollars USD right now. So for four of those, it's like eighty dollars. It's pretty much the more than the entire deck that put together. So. We are playing around that, and to replace the Hiori, we have this new card for uh, EBO1. And it's actually a card I would like a lot in this deck, because it kind of addresses playing both of these and the Makino. It, it kind of addresses the biggest weakness of Sabo, because with Sabo, um, the way to play around Sabo is go for board control, and then if they don't have like board presence and are sending characters to the life, you just don't want to attack him for a turn and then that way it just gets him out of the rhythm and then you can just go like crazy especially knowing what they have so but this addresses that if anyone tries to like hand starve you especially in the nl matchup too because now uh you get to take the card from the top of your life so if you send like kid and killer or ace to uh your life and then your opponent decides not to attack you if you have this in your hand you get that back and plus you get to draw an additional card so it also helps play more defensively, aggressively as well, and especially just getting I don't know, extra cards is really cool. And a lot of times your opponent don't doesn't expect that either, so you can put them into a crazy trap around this card, or even just Machino being able to get whatever you sent to your life back regardless for just one Don, which I am having a lot of fun with, because uh, it just kind of fixes the big problem that Sabo has when your opponent tries to lock you out and lock you down with the uh, board control, and they decide not to attack you. But yeah, you drop one of these, especially if they don't have any blockers up, bring back your Kid and Killer, your Ace, or your Luffy, and then you just pop them twice anyways. A lot of people just don't expect that, and you can easily just win the game. So yeah, playing around a little bit cheaper here. Obviously, you can't do the crazy, like, Hiori play, like, the setup. That's, like, the benefits of uh, Hiori. But again, it is, like, a small percentage play of happening. So being able to save money and still be able to, like, honestly fix the biggest weaknesses for me is like a pretty good trade-off but uh yeah besides that we're just kind of running fours you can definitely play around numbers and stuff too again i just have the triggers here with uh make sure we have like a decent amount and then i have two of the event here in case we need it but yeah i like having the 2ks here it's pretty nice so now we have 10 2ks which is pretty cool we have shariah still and yeah having a lot of fun with this and yeah we'll jump to some games and see how they go all right, we got some NL action here. We got a pretty interesting hand, not gonna lie. We'll see how this goes. We have the ace combo, and then we have uh, Shariah, but we need to kind of, okay, we got another ace already. Um, We'll attack them here, and then I'll just drop Shariah, because uh, they wouldn't be able to play Gadatsu or anything, and that means I can then attack with Shariah next turn as well. And we can play around that. Okay, well, they get, uh, they get Cracker off the top of the life. Unfortunate for us, but we'll see what they do. Is uh, If I need to, we can potentially block this. Maybe. Or do I take it? And then we can drop Ace next turn <laughs> and then go crazy. Hmm. Honestly, that might be... That could be the play there. I might actually... Yeah, I might do this. Okay, we get two Luffy's. Okay. And then we'll block this with the that and that. Alright, cool. Um, so what do I want to do here? So I'm down to two, so this is safe. We could yeah, I could drop ace, attack this, and then attack them. We we'll play that way too. Here, let me attack them once, and maybe we get a card out of their hand. Let's see what they do. As if I am able to do that, that might work as well. Okay, they stack the Gadatsu. Nice. All right, so let's drop Ace then. Attack them seven on five. Play around that. Let's see what they do. Because uh, then next turn, if we keep this on the board, I can do a combo here. The only thing that stinks is we have four uh, no counter in hand. Because I don't need like all of these. 
since we got the baby ace action but we'll see uh kind of what happens so they take the hit there all right so we can play around this here so they have six they don't really have a whole lot of options not gonna lie on uh because we're down to two so if they have Gadatsu, they wouldn't be able to ko shiraya because we went down to two so that's kind of why another reason i did that so i could play around the stuff there um what do i want to do here no i think i need to block this with the ace is the problem actually we'll take the hit okay i get kid and killer okay interesting so we have all of the, we have all of our rush we might have too much rush so they drop the the charlotte okay to do that there leaves them with five okay they're dropping ace um no all right well yeah i gotta block that and so we'll do that Alrighty. so what can i do here so i'm at seven they're at two so kid and killer i can supercharge to get rid of this so i could attack them here drop kid and killer we put one on us here kid and killer's four and then i just need two four to bring ace back and then we leave this up okay so let me attack them there and then we'll try to get it down to one because they're only going to be here okay so that's fine there let's drop uh kid and killer we'll do this on the here then attack them nine on seven get rid of that there And then, thankfully, we got Machino, so that's nice. See what they do. Because, uh, again, next turn, they're only going to be at 8, so that means they can't drop Yamato or anything. So, I can take a shot on them um, with uh, bringing in stuff here. Okay, that's actually a crazy play, I'm not going to lie. So, we can do this. I will attack them again 7-on-7. Seven seven. If I get everything out of their hand here, I'm kind of okay with that as well. All right, and then we'll attack them eight on seven. Okay, so they sacked, they got rid of everything for that. So this is at seven, this is at seven. I have the Machino with Shariah to block anything their leader does. They only have the three cards in hand and they're, they're at eight. So unless they have another ace to play. They, again, they can't use Yamato. I'm assuming since they did this, they have another Yamato. So we'll see what happens. Because if I need to, we can play some defense. I'm going to be at nine. All right. So it's just going to come down to, again, they're going to at three. They have technically like three. So we'll hit them down one. Okay. They put the Katakuri. We'll send an ace to the bottom. Okay. Five on seven. Yeah, we're boosted. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that. All right. And then we get another Kiku interesting so i could um well i don't really need to worry about that honestly because i could just try to blast them down with this stuff here i have another ace so i could send we could drop ace again attack play around with the stuff there all right so let's do this all right, and they uh, took off. <laughs> well, it looks like, yeah, we would have got them based on the stuff here. They uh, So, yeah, they did have Yamato, so that made sense with them getting rid of this. And they had another ace. So, okay, so they, we're going to go for... I mean, I don't think they would... We would have been fine, because even if they somehow survived this turn, um, this ace I probably would have sent here. And then I was thinking about boosting Shariah just because if I did that well I guess it wouldn't matter because if they yeah potentially if they went this route instead then boosting Shariah would have been cool because then we could have blocked again we would have been at minimum 7k depending on what they did with the leader and then this would have been at 7 but yeah we would have definitely got him within the next two turns so yeah we're we're cooking with the with Sabo still all right we got some Moria action here so we'll see how this goes and see if what we can do. Think turn two, I'll probably drop Shariah, and then we'll just see what they got kind of deal. Because uh, play around that, I think, is the best 
idea. So we'll attack in five and five. See what they get rid of. It's pretty much just on if they have a... Uh... So we'll see. They'd have to play... They'd have to have Absalom and then some kind of cost reduction here. So they'd have to have a Great Eruption, Ice Age. Because again, for their ability, they got to use the three. And then they'd have to have one more. So that's why I dropped this. So they're just, just dropping Kuzan. Okay. Um, I'll take this then. Okay, we get Caden Killer, which is nice. And we get another 2k. So how do I want to go about this then? Because I could attack them. I mean, I could se technically send this to our life here. Because I could attack them 7. There, send this to our life, and then play around this. Alright, well, let's put 2 on Shirai then. We'll attack them 7 on 5. We'll see how this goes. And then we'll put three on Sabo here. We'll attack them eight on five. Get them down there. And then we'll send this there. All right. So that way we can play around Kuzan. So if they attack with Kuzan, then I can uh, go for him next turn. Because I'll be at seven. We pretty much just need to stall out until if I can get like Luffy or Ace. So I'll probably use Garp here. See what they grab. All right. They do get the Ice Age. So we'll have to remember that. And then another brand new. Okay. So, they get two Ice Ages, often both brand new. So, two of their cards are Ice Age. And then they have this stuff here. Okay, so we can take this, which is fine. And then they're not attacking with Kuzan. Okay. So, I could try to attack them. Circle four, if I put two on. All right, we'll put two on here. Attack them seven on five. If I get them down, I'll drop Kid and Killer, and then we'll just attack them again, and they'll send Kid and Killer here. So we'll play around that. Alright, so they do that. Um, well, what do I want to do then? So let's drop down Garp, see what we can grab. The Baby Ace. Not super needed. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I'll just drop Shariah then. And then uh, get them to, they have Absalom, so they'd have to attack here. I mean, it opens things up, why not? Just get them um, to get rid of stuff. So they're at eight. Leave one, so okay, they're just dropping Moria. Alrighty. So bringing in... I assume Absalom and Helmeppo to get rid of uh, Shariah here. Okay. Again, if I get them down here, we're still kind of chilling. Because uh, we know they have two Ice Ages in hand. So we can play around the stuff there. See if they, I guess, attack or not. So I'll take this one. Okay, we get another baby ace, which I don't need. And then again, not attacking with Kuzan. We get this ace. Okay, so here we go. Drop Ace down. We're going to attack them. Seven on five. See what they do. So they take the hit there. All right. We'll put one on here. Do this. Send that there. And then we'll drop down the baby Ace here. Do this there. So I could attack him five. And then we could do that. All right. So let's attack him again. Seven on five. And we'll play around our stuff here. So they take the hit there. Interesting. So this is at four. I'm going to put one on here. We'll attack him five and five. Get rid of a card out of their hand. And then I'll attack him eight. And so they do that. And then, all right, we'll attack him eight on five. They take the last one. Okay. So if they don't get a blocker here, we can go crazy with Kid and Killer next turn. This is at seven, I'm at seven. So if they, again, use anything too crazy. We know they have the Ice Ages, so they probably are gonna just use Ice Age, potentially. I guess they'd have to have uh, another Absalom or something, though. So we'll see. And then, all right, so they're putting one on Kuzan. I don't know who they're attacking. Are they attacking Garp, I guess? 
Because I'm at seven, and then Ace is at seven, so they'd have to put, yeah, two on. Because this is where I'm just going to be, make, play, like, very defensively. So, we'll see what they do. So, they're just going for that there. So, I'll do this and this. So, we'll block that. So, that puts them down to only having six. So, they minus this down. I guess we'll see what they have. So, they're dropping four. They're dropping, all right, Rob. So, that only leaves them with two. So, they can attack with Moria and then one other. Okay. I mean, not the worst thing. But, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Because they're... Oh, okay. So, they're just attacking with the Moria. All right. So, we get Luffy and then they conceded. Oh. <laughs> wow. They were absolutely... They had all of their... Wow, we would have won that turn. <laughs> no way. They were absolutely bricked in hand all right well i mean that's why uh why we play the game i guess all right we got some law action we'll see how this goes it's a bit of a tough matchup just because they're able to flood out bodies but uh if we can get all we have is this luffy which is a bit of a problem so there's dropping gordon and max okay i mean not too much of an issue because I, well, I could attack them five, and then I could drop Shariah and make sure they you get rid of one of these here. And then we can put, well, actually, I might do that. Because if I can get them down in cards in hand, I'm kind of okay with that. So let's just drop Shariah, and then get them to utilize some stuff early. Get rid of one of these. And then we'll, because uh, if we get rid of one of these, try to get rid of another card. And then next turn, we can attack them. Because again, if I can get them down to two, we can just go Kid and Killer Recycle kind of as quick as we can because the next turn where i'll be at five i might attack them all right so they do that i'm gonna take this okay we get another 2k which is nice i'm just pretty much forcing them to use one of these because i could have sacked raya there too but they're dropping the bond clay okay they have one Let's see if they use max and then bring in someone else if they don't, okay, then I'm flying at them with Shariah. Okay, I'm not exactly sure why they didn't attack there. I'll be honest. So, I'll put two on Shariah then. And then we're just attacking them seven on five. Alright, and then I'll put the three on us here. We'll attack them eight on five. And then I'm going to send Shariah here. There's no uh, no reason not to. Because, again, Shariah is now buffed up to seven. Fits our leader condition so all right they do that there all right so we can do that so now we just take away all three of these cards that they put on the field <laughs> so there we go and then next turn i'll be at seven all right so i could drop a uh, luffy or just kid and killer honestly so i may attack them seven drop kid and killer and then fly at them again because it doesn't really matter they're taking advantage of the board state here they can't use any of these if they they don't do anything so see what they do i mean if they only attack five i'm just gonna block because i can if i stall them out again the longer we have the life it doesn't really matter what they have on the board especially if they can't play a blocker here we're big chilling so uh, we'll see that may them not uh getting rid of shariah this may be might be the game deciding play here so we'll go no block that i don't know what they have for seven all right so they're dropping zoro okay and so all right we'll take that that's fine leaves them with two um they only have four cards in hand so we're chilling there all right because again i'm gonna get myself back to the four life here see what they bring in all right, so they bring in Ray, puts them down to four total. All right, and they're just leaving two up. Okay, so I get Kiku. Um, yeah, we'll put two on here. I'll attack them seven on five. We'll see what they do, and then we'll just rinse and repeat. 
with the because again I, I can then put kid and killer here and play around that so they're sacking both of those all right so then we'll drop kid and killer down put one on attack him eight on five Alrighty, and then we'll send kid and killer to our life do that all right and then again these three <laughs> not doing too much here they can attack with these three but if i get kid and killer back i'm fine because i'm gonna be a nine down next turn so we play around that and yeah we're still at all this if we get any i mean our chances of getting a life trigger not the best because we have again three right here so we'll just see what uh, kind of happens there so there's our shariah making a play they have the six attacking again with five. All right, I'll take this so I get Kid and Killer back. And then we'll see what they do with the, the stuff here. Because I have 2k, 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 and then another Shariah. And so we can play around that. I could make... Hmm. No, I guess he would only go to six, right? Oh, okay, they're dropping Law. All right, they got rid of... Uh, 2k's <laughs> and so attacking me seven on five okay that's fine as they were just hoping to get a uh, something else there all right so I could drop kid and killer put two on attack them here actually here let me attack this see what they do because uh, if I can hand starve them here we can win that way as well so I could drop Kid and Killer and then attack either and then have one bring in hmm all right so let's drop uh, Kid and Killer down if I put two on attack them here get them down there send this back there's not a whole lot they can do and so we'll put the two on here I'll attack them nine on five so they either got to sack this or take the last one. And then I'll just send uh, this back here. We'll leave the one up just as a little bluff because <laughs> uh, you never know. And then, yeah, we'll play around that. So they sack that there. All right, so we'll do that there. No targets and end our turn there. Again, we're just playing the way. I'm, <laughs> the reason I'm playing this way is to just because they dropped their Gordon in the max. We're just playing... Uh, can't really leave anything on the board because it'll be gone. <laughs> but we have Ace, we have Luffy. So they're going five on five. No. I'll block this. I feel like they may have Kid and Killer. And because I have this Charlotte, if they then change and then just leave this here, I can then bring this in. So that's why we have this card here. So I'll go no again and then we'll get rid of uh the makino here because i'm not exactly sure what they're, they're yeah so i saw this saw this coming <laughs> so that was uh what i was playing around there and they're just dropping another gordon Alrighty. so this is why we do what we do <laughs> so they only have the th three cards here so how do i want to do this so this is for one so that'd be five leaves us with this stuff here okay so this will be min seven all right so let me put the two on here let's attack them seven on five see what happens because all right them doing that because this isn't my only play because now i can wait because now i could drop luffy instead here attack them again and then i can send luffy uh here because then there's nothing they can do so i could put one on pretty much it doesn't matter who i attack i could get rid of this they have the three gordons and stuff here so we'll just put this on here i'm gonna attack this nothing they can do and then we'll send that there choose no targets they only have one card in hand they don't have a blocker we're good and again because i have this card i can get these guys back so they're attacking me all right we'll take luffy back and then i guess we'll see what they do here i mean they have nine done <laughs> so five on five no we'll just do that again they only have the two cards so it doesn't really matter what kind of transpires here okay so they have kid 
and then not attacking. All right, so what do I want to do here? Because now I could attack them seven. There's still not much they can really do, honestly. Oh yeah, if I attack them, uh, if they forget that we have this, then I, I win. So we'll put two on here, attack them seven. Because I can drop Luffy <laughs> and with the Don on him. Okay, so they remembered. So now we drop Luffy down. I just put one on Luffy. Attack him here. So they take the last one there. Um, all right, and then we just do this. And just call it good. Because, <laughs> uh, again, they don't really have the firepower. <laughs> We're still at four life. And if they don't have, a, like, two blockers to play here, we're chilling. Um, sure, we'll take this. Because, well, now it doesn't matter if they put blockers or not, because we have Luffy. I just drop Luffy, and then we, we win. No, do that. Is it even if they drop any kind of blockers somehow? We, yeah, we got them. Because it wouldn't have mattered, because, again, with Luffy, Luffy's ability, you get to put the two down on him, and your opponent can't activate a blocker so we're chilling and yeah that is playing just the insane rush recycle there held off on the the charlotte play just because uh if they didn't drop this kid then we i would have super like uh gone for it but just played around that played board because again hand size making sure that we just trap them and then yeah these two this max and gordon sat there the entire game <laughs> Obviously, I think, again, the game-changing play was when they didn't remove Shiraya early and just left Shiraya on the board. That was pretty cool, because then we were able to use Shiraya immediately to uh, use our ability. Because, again, our ability is uh, has to be cost 3 and at least 7, so you put the 2 on Shiraya and then attack, get him to the 7, send Shiraya there, and you can just play around any kind of removal stuff, which is uh, very, very fun.